welcome back. This is part two of Connecting to Our Children, uh, the video for this Wednesday. Now, I want to talk about three things here. Okay, first and foremost, we have a tendency as adults to, when we become parents, either parent just like our parents did, whether that's healthy or not, or say, I don't want to be anything like my parent, right? And what we have a tendency to focus on is the negative in either of those scenarios. And my suggestion would be in this case is to focus specifically on what you do want to be like as a parent. So this requires some self-assessment and some self-awareness. You have to sit down and ask yourself, what are the things about my parents or my parent um, or my grandparents or whoever raised you that I really liked and enjoyed? And then capture those, like legit, write them down. And then you go over here and you say, what are some of the things that I did not at all find to be helpful or healthy? And then write those things down. And then you look at that, this list you're going to keep because these are the things that you want to imitate and become. And then these things over here, you go, okay, my dad was never there. So rather than focusing on the fact that my dad was never there, never there, never there, never there, um, instead, because then you're trying to compete against someone who couldn't give you what you thought they were supposed to, whole other video. Um, but instead of trying to compete with that, instead you go, okay, well, I didn't have that, but I'm going to be there for my kids. And I'm not just going to be there like a warm body in a room, but I'm actually going to be there. Like we're going to do stuff together. We're going to do activities. We're going to play board games. We're going to talk, right? And do I need to learn more about how to do that? I don't know how to talk to my kids. That never happened to me. Oh my gosh, I need therapy. You see where I'm going? So really taking some time to self-assess and to become self-aware and decide like what kind of parent do you want to be rather than focusing on what kind of parent you don't want to be. And then once you figure that out, how are you going to get there? How are you going to get there? Do you have to read a book? Do you have to watch some videos? Do you have to listen to a sermon? Do you have to go to therapy? Figure it out. And then figure out how to get there because, again, in doing that, that's self-care and self-love. And then that's going to benefit every relationship in your life, especially the one with your children. Um, okay, so that's one. The second thing that I did want to talk about is children, as they're growing up, are assessing their parents and deciding either I want to be like or I want to be nothing like. There's really not much middle ground there, Right. Because if you think about your relationship with your own parents, a lot of times people say, I'm nothing like my mother, or I'm nothing like my father, or I want to be just like my mom, or I want to be just like my dad, right? So I want you to just take a deep breath and acknowledge that that relationship was what it is, and that you are a whole separate person. And although some of those qualities may be beneficial to your relationship with your children, it doesn't need to be make or break, right? Right? Um, so you get to figure it out and evolve and then allow the relationship with your children to be its own relationship. And then who do you want to be, right? Because then that same pattern is going to happen and your children are either going to go, I want to be just like my parent or I don't want to be nothing like my parent or, right? So we want to just allow our relationship to be what it is without this heaviness from the past going, I have to be just like my mom or I have to be nothing like my mom. I can take these qualities that were great. I can let go of these things that weren't and I can just be myself because that's the best thing that I can do for my child is for me to fully show up because then I'm teaching her that she gets to fully show up. And although she's going to maybe imitate some of the behaviors and the qualities, she gets to do it her own way. Right. And again, we cannot give that until we become that. So um, it all comes back to self. And then the third thing that I want to talk about is just a reminder that your children, because I'm talking specifically about younger kids to adults, I mean to teenagers, they are not adults yet. They are not adults. They literally only know what they know. I remember when my daughter was a little bit younger, I used to say to her, do you think you know everything? And then I realized one day as the words were coming out of my mouth, she does know everything that she knows. She does know everything that she knows. So rather than get mad at her for knowing everything that she knows, I just have to teach her more. Oh, look at that. I'm not angry anymore. I, right, right? Just this reminder that she's only been on the planet for X amount of years. This, I remember when I was much younger, um, I worked at a uh, program with teen moms. And I remember one of the 
the staff, he said, that girl is having a baby and she's a teenager, but she's only been on the planet, you know, 16 years. She doesn't know what we know. So we have to give her room to be 16. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's brilliant. And that was something that I always try to remember and keep reminding myself when I look at my child. And sometimes I'm like, why haven't you figured this out yet? And then I remember, right, she's only been on the planet four years, eight years, nine years, whatever it is, right? So we have to look at our kids and kind of give them that room. They're not adults. They do know everything that they know. They've only been on the planet for a certain amount of years. And there are a lot of adults who are still trying to figure it out, but will not give children the room to figure it out. Are you kidding me? You've been on the planet two, three, four times as long as they have, and you want them to instantaneously figure it out while their bodies are evolving and changing, while their brains are expanding, while their hormones are raging. F forget all that. Figure it out. I told you one time. I'm not a living example, but I told you one time. How come you can't get it? Really? No, really? What are we doing to our babies? That is not okay. They are just trying to figure it out just like we are. They are evolving and growing and changing in a way that we once did or did you forget, right? And they, they're, we can teach them with kindness, with love, and with repetition. And not just repetition by the things that we say, but especially with the things that we do. That's how you teach. It's our greatest teaching tool is our example. So let them off the hook, okay? Please and thank you. Give them a little more grace and a little more patience and a little more remembrance that they've only been on the planet for X amount of years. They only know what they know and they're doing the best that they can. They really are. Just like we are. Oh, look at that. Uh, and, the, and the other side of that is to make sure you let yourself off the hook because they don't come with a manual and each and every one of them, just like us, is completely different. And so we figure them out. And then right when we think we figured it out, they're evolving and changing and growing just like us. Crazy, right? I know. Give them room to be humans and to grow and to evolve. And we do that with kindness and with love and with, you know, a uh, uh, safe structure and follow through and guidelines. Um, so again, that's it for this piece. I just wanted to take this time to do this extra little dive just to give you some reminders about your babies. Uh, so I hope that this was beneficial. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you know someone who can benefit from it, please uh, share it. And if you, haven't already subscribed to my channel right there. And I love you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, a fantastic super sparkly weekend. And I hope that when you look at your children, you remember that your frustration is yours and your impatience is yours because they really do know everything that they know. They really are trying to do the best they can with the example that you're giving them. They really, 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 really just want your time and your love. So give it to them. Uh, that's it. Gotta go. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Peace.